and today we will tell you about the movie Monster 2000 of the 18th year. It all starts with the demonstration of Chan Zhong, who managed to curtail power, and now he is the new king. Having suppressed any resistance, he establishes total control. After a while, the disease begins to spread throughout the kingdom, and in order to contain the infection, the king orders to eliminate the infected. All the peasants begin to be driven into huge pits. A woman begs to save her healthy daughter, eventually getting an arrow. Ten years later, John Joe tells about rumors that in the mountains where the elimination took place, they began to hear the roar of a monster, and sometimes civilians disappear. Obviously, the residents are in a panic, and if the government does not help them, the authority of the crown will be in question. In the middle of the forest, Jun and his friend son and his adopted daughter Meng are looking for prey, but nothing comes out, even fish cannot be caught. When she gets home, Mian asks her father to move to another area, but he just sends her for vegetables while a man sneaks into the yard. Aiming at the unknown, Mian demands to introduce himself. His name is Ha and he came for a man who used to work in the king's personal guard. When suddenly she is distracted by Sun and the arrow is sent to Hora, who easily dodges. Only now does he realize that Yun Sun were the best warriors of the crown. But Yun does not want to return, but the king is already here. A long time ago, Yun came to the palace with a girl who was asked to be saved. Yun demonstrated that not all people are contagious, which means his order was reckless. The guards take a man surrounded by them, and only some laid down his weapons. In punishment, the king expels two warriors, and now, ten years later, he needs his help again, and after all, only he can catch the monster. After night thoughts, the man decides to return to the capital, while somewhere in the forest shamans are trying to expel evil, eventually being eliminated. The surviving girl saw all this. Arriving in the city, the family is amazed by the bad life of people, because until recently the city flourished. But they are distracted by Ge with the news of elimination. Yun carefully examines the area, noticing the ropes on their ankles, and then interrogates the girl. She says that she saw something terrible, but there is no fear in her voice, which is why they arrange surveillance. The girl leads them to a man in black handing over a bag. The dream rushes for the day, the man manages to escape. Inside the bag was food, which the girl distributes to people in need. She also says she lied in exchange for food. Because of rumors about a monster, people are afraid to go to work, but the girl believes that there really is a monster. After a while, the news of a new elimination spreads. One of the bodies was lying right on the tree, no man is capable of this. But there were knife wounds in the bodies, someone is trying to pass them off as a monster attack. The king orders to organize a search party led by Yun. The authorities are ready to allocate no more than a hundred soldiers. If they need more people, they'll have to find them among the peasants. There is a man hiding in this crowd. The sounds of a gong are heard. The squat combs the forest, but finds nothing but pink goo. Very soon it gets dark and Sun offers to turn around, but the commander of the royal guard Jin decides to go deep into the forest, because monsters notice it at night. Mian mentions that while they were walking, they didn't find a single bone, most likely the monster is very hungry. In the dead of night, the old man deviates from the group and goes into the dark thicket. In an attempt to find him, the group stumbles upon a fresh elimination, and an imprint is visible on the ground. In another part of the group, Captain Jin gives the order to eliminate all the peasants and launch a signal to capture the monster. Ha fights back against the soldiers, saving them from elimination, but the numerical advantage is not on his side. When everything has calmed down, Jin says that the monster never existed. All this time, the army of the crown specifically eliminated the peasants, because as long as the peasants are afraid, they can be controlled. After that, he throws names and Ha right into the pit, but they miraculously manage to survive. When suddenly a monster's paw appears out of the darkness. In a couple of seconds, he rises from the pit. Jin orders to open fire, but the monster does not care about the arrows, condemning the warriors to elimination. And while the monster is busy, the friends go down into the pit. The remains of people with blisters are scattered everywhere. We need to warn the crown before the disease reaches the city. When suddenly an old man runs out, who has moved away from the group and asks to smear himself with the slime of the monster, so they will not get infected and wash off the smell. After turning off the light, he also asks to behave as quietly as possible. Not noticing the heroes, the monster just falls asleep, but still notices the smell of names. Starting the chase, the group runs out onto a cliff, 
from where it is possible to jump into the water, and Jin and several warriors manage to return to the palace. He works for Prime Minister Sim, and he is puzzled that the monster really exists. To make people afraid of them, Sim gives the order to burn the whole city until he takes the crown for himself, and several men covered with ulcers are brought into the city, allowing a large-scale purge. There are hidden passages under the king's castle. The old man says that the former ruler adored monsters and allocated a separate territory for them under this castle, and the old man was responsible for feeding the monsters, even attached himself to one of them. When John Joe overthrew the king, he ordered the destruction of all creatures, but the old man helped the pet escape through a secret entrance. And when the king eliminated the infected, the creature regaled them, turning into the current monster. With the help of his favorite toy, the old man drives the creature into the aviary and closes the grate, which the monster does not particularly like, sending him to the next world. After that, you can easily get out of the cage. On the surface, the Prime Minister promises to help residents who have lost their home due to the flames. People think that he is a kind person, they start bowing. Ying manages to sneak into the throne room and tell them that the monster is real, but their conversations are interrupted by the Prime Minister with a bow. And before the king, the Prime Minister plans to tell that it was Yun who gave the order to burn the city, simultaneously driving away the king. But before he can finish, a monster bursts into the hall. The guards are trying to fight back, but people don't mind him. In the city of names, she pretends to be infected, and imperceptibly unties herself. John and Yoon also escape. After a long battle, the guards manage to lure the monster into a trap. Everyone decides that this is an ideal chance to rise even more in the eyes of the peasants. You just need to bring it to people and destroy it. But the monster breaks out, smearing the guards in red slime. Each of them is infected in just one second. The trio comes up with the idea of setting a trap in a cell under lock and key, but for this they need a bait, Jung becomes it. Before that, Miang informs civilians about the monster. She also reports that Sim is the culprit in the recent arson. Hearing such words, the residents push the Sim into the castle. Jung launches a flare, attracting the monster. Are you sure the explosives are being set up, but an infected captain comes out of the shadows. Ge pierces the warrior, but the captain does not want to give up and hides from the arrows. The girl asks him to do the same thing that he did at their first meeting sending the captain to the next world. The beast immediately bursts in and a group ignites the fuse, which goes out. Jung locks the door and asks a friend to take care of him. It remains to ignite the explosives, taking the monster to the next world. A new day is coming, residents are opening the gates. Mian tries to find his father among the wreckage and notices someone breathing. Jung is still alive, so the family is reunited. The film ends with the words that this story was written from the surviving texts of the Joseon era. And we will be very interested in how you rate this film, just write to us about it in the comments or just advise something interesting. See you very soon, bye.